Hey guys, welcome to Data Track, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at advertiser recommendation system at Pinterest. So basically how the advertisement platform is powered by machine learning and algorithmic intelligence at Pinterest. And also this uh, content will be useful because any of the advertisement platform, whether the company belongs to travel industry or finance or hospitality industry, if they have the capability of ads in their platform, some of the problems in the advertisement platforms are pretty common. And Pinterest has beautifully specified what these problems are and how and hinted how they have solved it. So let's uh, dive deep into it. We will uh, look at one of the blog which is very beautifully written, it stated all the advertisement platform related problems and how uh, Pinterest have solved it, they have provided a hint. So this is the blog, what I have done is, I have copied the content in another tab and highlighted some of the major portions that we will look into. So what is Pinterest, right? Pinterest is a visual discovery engine that helps pinners or the users find inspirational ideas. So there are many images and videos available in the platform and users can use them to get uh, motivation or inspiration about the theme. For example, someone may be looking for wedding dresses, some others may be looking for some templates for their blogs and they can go to Pinterest and get those kind of images and get the motivation or ideas. Now coming to the ads platform, the ads intelligence team at Pinterest builds machine learning and algorithm driven recommendations that help advertisers uh, with the best experience in reaching relevant pinners like which users to target and help them reach their campaign goals. So what is a campaign? Every advertiser runs a campaign where they set a budget as well as uh, bid value that how much they want to bid for uh, each impression which can be view, click or order and uh, depending on that uh, they run the campaigns. Now if everything is machine intelligence based like a smart recommendation can be provided it becomes easier for them right that is what Pinterest and many other ad platforms do and also uh, this is how the uh, ads manager UI what advertiser gets to see when they want to run a campaign looks like here they can set the target that whom they want to show the content uh, like the type of audience if they have a list of emails that come to their website they want to provide as a list they can provide here if any interest or keyword bidding they want to do that anyone if they search for wedding dress then it's good to show my content and also if they want to target a people people from particular areas or where they want to put, place their ad in the website so this kind of things they can select from and as well as they can let the machine decide there is also expanded uh, targeting where they can sell uh, if the ticket then the machine learning intelligence will decide where to show their ads now some of the common problems that any advertising platform faces and also the Pinterest faces, uh, the first one is bid recommendation that increasing the bid for let's say the ad group one which is type of ad and increasing bid from $0.5 to $6 could help drive 25% more impressions. Now there can be two type of bidding mechanism, one can manual bid, other is the auto bid. Auto bid is when the advertiser wants machine learning intelligence that is the pinterest to decide what is the right bid the bid is adjusted automatically in real time by the system while in the manual uh, bid advertiser need to manually set the bid now compared to auto bid manual bid allows advertiser to have the control at how much price they want to pay per bid but the problems are if the bid is too small the ad would win very few auctions hence the uh, the campaign goal will fail and on the other hand if the bid is set too high the budget will get over and anyways it won't win many auctions right and uh, the graph would look something like this as the bid increases the number of auctions also uh, auction win also increases but after a point it reduces because the budget gets exhausted because there is not enough budget and the bid is already very high right so uh, in the auto bid scenario what Pinterest does it recommends it uses the auction data to form the above chart that uh, they try to model that chart and they provide suggestion that uh, if the bid is in, made $0.11, it will increase to 10% more auction win, 0.12 to 20% more auction wins, and if it's $0.15, it will increase 50% more chances of winning the auction. And after accumulating all this data, this kind of chart gets uh, comes out where after this point, the winning auctions will reduce because the budget will get exhausted. 
so we recommend they they are saying that we recommend the bid change corresponding to the highest winning option so basically the topmost point right and in case the bid is uh, too high right it, then also if bid is here it will have to brought to a lower value so if bid is high it should be corrected by auto bid so that is the first problem uh, that uh, many advertisement platform faces how to set auto bid and this is how they have solved it by uh, finding that curve that on increasing the bid uh, value how much winning options uh, uh, are there and at a, after the point it will reduce so finding the maximum and recommending that next problem that many advertisement platform along with pinterest face is the budget recommendation what should be the right budget that uh, to recommend to the uh, supplier right so it may be possible that on increasing the ad uh, budget of the ad group from 50 dollar to 60 dollar it can get 20 percent more impressions which can be views clicks or orders right so how is the recommendation generated so uh, leveraging again the auction data that is the past data they calculate uh, on increasing the budget percentage how much additional impression percentage uh, increase uh, uh, the advertiser will see it may not always be a linear curve it can be a decaying curve or it can be an increasing curve uh, so uh, this type of curve is recommended to the advertiser and they can select a point from the diagram that has best cost rich trade off because it depends on the advertiser right how much they want to pay to get that extra impression so they can select the best cost rich trade off now uh, this is how they have solved the budget recommendation problem the next problem is expanded targeting now i've also covered that in the beginning that there can be keyword targeting region targeting and all in the expanded targeting the advertiser can leave it to the pinterest the system the machine intelligence to decide whom to show the advert ad uh, right so enabling expanded targeting means allowing ml intelligence to decide whom to show ads instead of supplier giving targeting details so if they enable expanded targeting for let's say at group one they will see 20 percent more impressions right it may not happen for all the um, ad groups but where it happens those can be recommended that here if you leave it to the machine intelligence you will get more impressions so how they solve it so first of all they have also covered how their home feed personalization look like like what the uh, user see not the advertiser but the user who are uh, browsing the pinterest how the recommendation is generated for them the home feed personalization happens through powerful interest graph and neural networks organically recommending product and ideas as well as for ads and we use neural network to improve the quality of ads seen by user and the relevance it brings to advertiser now also they have mentioned uh, this this is the home home feed personalized how the users uh, home feed is personalized or powered by neural networks next they have also covered that three type of campaigns are there one is awareness campaign where the advertiser may goal for uh, reaching getting more impressions or views there can be traffic campaigns where the advertiser may want more clicks while there can be conversion campaigns where the advertiser's goal is to get more conversion or, or uh, orders so uh, depending on the type of a campaign expanded targeting uh, machine intelligence target variable may change right if the views needed is more then the expanded targeting will try to find what is the who are the right set of users to get more views who are the right set of users to get more clicks and who are the right set of users to get more conversion in case of conversion campaign and sometimes when in the manual selection if they select the interest if, if the supplier select the interest themselves that whom they want to show the ads it can result in narrow targeting because uh, ad groups and campaigns face under delivery issue in other words the actual impression clicks conversions are less than expected because of the narrow targeting which can happen due to uh, targeting configuration like demographics, user interest, search keyword, interest and keyword settings are more difficult to set than demographic settings. Advertiser need to select relevant and popular interest and keywords to their pin images. This is too much effort right, for advertiser. So instead of that, if they select expanded targeting, the machine intelligence will decide whom to show their ads. Now, how do they do it? What is the machine learning intelligence powering that system, right? Expanded targeting. So, so how they solve it is uh to solve the pain point we launch expanded targeting product by enabling expanded targeting advertiser no longer needs to set interest and keywords the ad retrieval neural networks model would automatically present relevant pin images to user by le leveraging pin image and user embedding so whichever uh, pin embedding and user embedding have high uh, dot product that is they are highly 
correlated or or they are uh, useful for each other those users will be shown those pins but that will happen through the neural network that we have seen how the home page personalization will happen but what we know need to show to the advertiser we need to show them the forecast that how much additional impressions they will get so neural network is powering the home feed personalization and to show how much extra uh, impressions they will get that happens through gbdt which is gradient boost and decision tree after applying certain necessary business rule filters we use a gradient boosting decision tree regression model to predict the impression for each ad group assuming expanded targeting is enabled we then recommend expanded targeting to the ad groups which for which predicted impressions are significantly larger than the current impressions so wherever the expanded targeting predictions uh, from the gbdt model are very high uh, compared to that uh, narrow a targeting that they have selected via keywords and user and demographic bidding and demographic selection if the expanded targeting is much better than that then these are uh, suggested to them that you can go with the expanded targeting and you may see uh, this much more impressions so this is how they have covered or solved the expanded targeting uh, capability next is some other type of recommendations that are also there in the advertisement platform so additional recommendations available on the pinterest platform can be based on business rules while others are based purely on algorithms and rest are based on the combination of the two and this type of recommendations are if you see uh, given the current performance of this ad group try stopping or pausing the ad or uh, there is also something like try to increase the budget for this ad group from 200 to 239 dollar to maximize results to so increase budget or you pause a com campaign this kind of uh, recommendations are also provided now next is recommendation ranking so we saw there is a ad manager ui right where the advertiser logs in uh, and uh, select the budget and bid and the content for which they want to bid for but it can happen that the supplier or the advertiser has uh, many contents in which content would be uh, best to show the ads so there the pinterest one of the most important recommendation surface says is the recommendation page in the ads manager with the ever growing number of new recommendation type an advertiser could have hundreds of recommendations available because they have lot of content a ranking layer is needed to prioritize the most interesting recommendation for the advertiser on top right so there a gbdt classification model here it's a classification model to predict positive click event probability and uh, descendingly rank notification based on the model score so out of multiple contents that the uh, advertiser have the one which has highest click rate probability that the probability to click given view where it's maximum those are uh, rank ordered in the descending order and uh, those uh, recommendations are shown at the top the modeling features what are the features used are users features and notification features which are basically user features include advertiser demographics and other properties and uh, as well as entity properties which can be the property related to the ad content like what what image is it, is it what type of video is it so both advertiser properties demographic properties and as well as the entity that is the ad group or campaign properties and notification features include notification properties and historical performance how that ad has done in the past or how that um, content has done organically in the platform so those kind of features are used to generate the uh, click probability that is the click rate probability and finally the recommendations are sorted in descending order so this is how the recommendation ranker works so uh, this concludes the blog where the automated recommendation and ranking effort supports a large area of advertiser guidance and experience at pinterest so these are some of the very common problem any advertisement platform faces which is the bid recommendation budget recommendation expanded targeting audience selection like automatic personalization of the uh, feed and as well as uh, showing to the advertiser what is the additional impressions they, they will get if they go for expanded targeting and as well as uh, the recommendation ranker that how should the uh, advertisement manager ad manager the ui first page should look like so it's uh, helpful for the advertiser and is their journey uh, in uh, showing or creating campaigns right uh, so if you are working on the ads platform or you are planning to work in the ads platform in the future i think this uh, will be really helpful because no matter what the domain is these problems are pretty common and these ideas can be utilized hope you really enjoyed the content and please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye